pretty frustrated so far so what I did was I went over to the taller log we're not to be bending over like this and I chipped out a new hearth board and a different spindle we'll see if it makes any difference I'm going to see if I can find the best way to put this on here like this I guess cut in a compression hole this time both pieces of wood are Benunga which I have pretty good luck with but I know there's no guarantees today it's so humid and it's been raining and all this stuff has been outside. I try to work with real world conditions. And in my fire kit and my pack, what I carry to combat these situations is I carry a carry a lighter and a panty liner fire starter or one of the new sawdust fire starters so that if I need a fire I can have a fire no matter what but we'll give this another try here once and see how it works with the new parts I'm just dripping with sweat and it's about the right size See if we can get this to burn in a little bit. Usually Benunga and Benunga is a pretty good combination. It's spinning much better. Smoking instantly. Thought this is a little darker. still pretty light though but we'll, we'll give her a shot now we're gonna see how much thicker this is it's gonna be much harder to cut, cut a notch out and the, the more knives are very sharp but the one disadvantage of them is the knife handles are very small and the blade's pretty short so I, I'm not getting a lot of leverage on here but I shouldn't need much I guess but this would be normal conditions in the wood if you didn't have a multi-tool with you I always have a neck knife on me and I always have a belt knife so okay we're in there pretty good about halfway into the hole and I'll just try to widen this up a little bit kind of make the bottom part a little bit wider if I possibly can Sawdust has somewhere to go. Alright, I think that looks like a pretty good wedge there. 
Right, let's give her one more try here. I'm about shot. But I came down here today. I really wanted to make a fire. That's pretty much my goal. And Sunday morning, the girls are at church. That's usually my free time to have fires and do things like that. So, just all over this a little bit. Something like that. I'll give it a try once. It's so easy as you fill your notch up with sawdust. when you're a little tired like this, it's kind of go easy. See, we almost have a... <laughs> we already have amber. Just going easy, we'll put a little extra on there. Alright. Again, it's just having the right pieces of wood Snap it down. just gently oh, kind of went out already on us it's real fluffy that's not a real good sign and we're off again This time we got amber. Very nice one. Right, right down here in the coconut stuff. There you go, finally a fire. Now that probably took the better part of 15 minutes with making three hearth boards, 
and three different spindles until we finally got something going. So it just shows you, depends on the conditions and how hard you work at it, that that's what it takes to get a fire. All right, well, I want to thank everybody for taking the time and putting up with this long video. Um, I'm going to keep in the, all the failure part of it just to show you how hard it really was. You can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. And uh, please click like and subscribe. And thank you. And have a very nice day. Mm -hmm.